I never thought about a dream about we as the East joining with the West doing such a wonderful program today. I never dream about it, but it's a really such a wonderful. This is happening today. I'm just hard to put into my words. But thank you all coming, and thank you so much for this. It's a really there's no word I can explain. So the mantra uh, they wanted to lead uh, me to, to you and all of us as a mother of Thara, there's a 10 syllables, so if anyone like to come deeply chant or sing with us, please do so. It's called the Om. If you like to repeat after me, do so. Om. Tare. Tutare. Ture. Ture. Swaha.
If you if you do too long the mantra, I know you fall asleep. <laughs> so thank you so much. So, so <clears throat> I'm so privileged and so happy to, as I mentioned earlier, to we have uh, such a beautiful Tibetan community here in Philadelphia. And so you will see that their performance and overall I'd like to introduce to you and our leader, the Tibetan leader here, and Chiring La. I'm such a privilege and thank you so much. Here's Chiring. Thank you, Mr. Tashikele. Uh, before that, I'll tell you very briefly about Tibet and our Tibetan Association. Tibet was an independent sovereign nation before 1949. Tibet history is more than about 2,000 years. And as far as recent history, Tibet was declared an independent nation by the 13th Dalai Lama in 1913. In 1949, the People's Republic of China, whose leader was Mao Zedong, came to Tibet as an uninvited guest to bring a socialist paradise to Tibet. But instead, they destroyed our culture, tradition, religion, and language of Tibet. In 1959, they defeated our small resistant army, and Dalai Lama had to fly to exile in India. Now over 60 years, a cultural genocide is happening inside Tibet. Tibetan monks and nuns are dispelled from monasteries, when nomads are uh, put in a concentration camp with a building blocks with nowhere, when languages are uh, banned from teaching in the schools, and in the Hassa city, which used to be a holy city with the Dalai Lama's palace where people do prostrations and prayers and mantras, now it has become like a smelly market with the bars and discotheques and uh, uh, prostitutes. So, Tibetan Association of Philadelphia is a non-profit organization, along with other Tibetan associations in America, is trying to preserve and promote our unique Tibetan culture, tradition, language, and religion of Tibet. We do this by organizing events, cultural events, and uh, celebrating Tibetan festivals, and we have a Tibetan Sunday school where we teach our children the language, Tibetan uh, culture, tradition, and so on. And uh, every once a year, we have a Tibetan bazaar, which is the most ethnic Tibetan event uh, uh, we visited in Philadelphia. So, uh, without going further, I don't want to take so much time. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, our uh, next our, uh, program for today. We have prepared five Tibetan songs, and our first song is called Trang Song La. Trang Song La is uh, meaning. Uh, it's a sort of group happy moment circle dance. Tibetan people love singing and dancing. When they do work, they sing and dance. When they drink, they dance. So, Chang Sola will be performed by our us parents group. And since I'm also one of the parents group, uh, I'll be also performing this dance. So in this dance, the excitement is to watch the feet tapping the floor. So here's our first program, Chang Sola.
next uh, song is called Pilla Go. Pilla Pil means Tibet, and uh, they're the, they the feature seats of Tibet. It's their responsibility to get back our country, and uh, one day so we all can go back to Tibet and live in our land. When they do this, that means they're going to Tibet. When they do this, uh, they are playing, they are looking at the beautiful places of Tibet and when they do this, they are praying for the happy reunion with our brothers and sisters inside Tibet. It's called Velodo.
next uh, piece is performed by two of our Tibetan musical teachers, uh, Mikmanla and Gewangela. Mikmanla is a Tibetan musical teacher in Philadelphia, Gewangela is a Tibetan musical teacher in uh, New York. So they will be performing uh, dance with a Dunyan, Tibetan guitar.
we're gonna do the la uh, last performance. Uh, it's called Chosung Tunshie. Chosung is three provinces in Tibet, and uh, Tunshie is a happy unity of the three provinces of Tibet. And in this dance, uh, it's uh, fun to watch the different costumes of the different region in Tibet, three provinces of Tibet.